If you don't want your concrete candle making business to fail in 2024, you need to control this one thing right now. Let's go. Hi, my name is Jay Catalano. It's almost 2024 and for the new year, I wanted to share the one thing that could potentially make you fail in 2024. Now I'm not trying to be a Debbie Downer or shall I say a Jay Downer, but and this is a big but. There is one thing that we need to control right now, and that one thing is F-E-A-R, fear. If you don't know what I mean, then let me briefly list the various forms of fear that will try to creep in from now until we start trying to manage it. The starting something new fear. We need to turn this fear into excitement by breaking down these new ventures into smaller, manageable steps, and we need to set realistic goals and celebrate small victories. The testing fear. Testing sometimes is scary, especially when you are just starting out. To combat this fear, we need to conduct small-scale tests or pilot projects, collect feedback, and use it to refine and improve our creations. The safety fear. To help ease the mental pain of the safety fear, we need to research and adhere to safety standards and regulations. I have many dedicated YouTube videos that will help combating this fear. And don't forget insurance when you get to that stage of your journey should offset a lot of those safety fears. The I don't know what I'm doing fear. If you invest time in learning and gaining expertise by continually educating yourself, you'll easily combat this fear in no time at all. If you spend one hour each day learning this craft in one week, you will have seven hours under your belt. In a month, 30. Double that to two hours a day and now you're well on your way to mastering your craft. The it's too expensive fear. Cost is important, but it should not stop you from your passion or goals. Remember, you don't have to stick to one or two products and you can change high costing products in the future as you become more educated in the field. Now, sometimes the money is truly the issue, but sometimes, most times, the cost issue is really a fear issue. The competition fear. We all go through some form of competition fear, but if we differentiate our products to the best of our ability, focus on a niche market and create our creations from our heart, our competition will be fearing us. The I'm not good enough fear. Now here's another one of those fears that we all experience from time to time. I'm not good enough. To overcome this fear, we need to set realistic expectations, seek constructive feedback, and recognize that everyone faces challenges and setbacks, and even me. Actually, I'm constantly facing the I'm not good enough fear, but I, you, we are all good enough. The social media fear, listen, Start small on one platform, gradually expand and focus on authentic engagement. Try to give people what they want. If it doesn't work, delete it and repost it with a different twist. For example, change the music you added to your video. Sometimes something as simple as that can turn a dud into a viral video. And one of the worst fear for me is their work is better than my work. You know what I'm talking about. In order to help us get past this fear, we need to focus on continuous improvement rather than direct comparison. And you know what? We need to celebrate, celebrate, celebrate our progress and seek inspiration by joining a like-minded community. Listen, fear is real and it's an emotion that I understand very, very well. Well, I don't understand it, but I understand it. Feel me? I experience it every single day to some degree or another. However, as I often tell my daughter, echoing the words of Susan Jeffers, feel the fear and do it anyway. And take a look at these videos that are popping up now. They're going to help you on your concrete, hydrostone, and candle making journey. Until next time, thanks for watching. Ciao.